Hello whiskey lovers, Whiskey Explorer Luke here again with another comparison video. I'm still on my peated kick, so uh, today I'm going to be doing a couple more peated whiskeys. And today's selections are, let's see here, the Lefroy 10 year old, and I'm going to compare that to Lagavulin 16. Um, now I thought about doing Lefroy quarter cask, but and I think that would be an actually a uh, very interesting comparison, but um, I figured I may as well start with the two um, base offerings of the the two distilleries. The Lagavulin 16 is the the youngest malt you can get from Lagavulin, and the Freud 10 year old is the youngest um, that you can get from. Or it's well, I guess it's not necessarily the youngest. I believe the quarter cask actually is aged. Um, for a shorter amount of time, but um, it's the base offering basically. So um, I thought these might be two uh, good comparison, good whiskeys to compare. So um, right, so I'll come at this with my beginner whiskey tasting nose and mouth, and uh, we'll see where we go. So I'll start with the Lefroy 10. Let me show you what this looks like. Um, I've compared this in other videos to, let's see, what have I compared this to? The quarter cask, and um, I believe that's all so far, but this is the bottle here. Very classic uh, looking bottle, white and green. On the back they've got some information about the name and uh, recommendations on how to taste it. Best saver neat, but with a cool little cool water. Okay, good. One interesting thing about these Lefroig bottles, <clears throat> I've bought probably four or five Lefroig bottles. Every time I get a bottle, this sticker up here on the, the shoulders of the bottle is always uh, wrinkled. So I think they may need someone to come fix this for them because it's always a little goofed up and I always want to press it and fix it. Anyways, um, Let's see what we get. Uh, Lefroig is one of my uh, favorite peated whiskeys, just because um, price-wise, it's it's good, and uh, it reminds me of um, um, cough medicine, which I liked a lot as a kid. Although I don't drink it that much, I don't have it that much these days, but um, it's a uh, kind of a fun little thing. So uh, let's see what the nose is like. Yeah, so the Freud is a heavy, heavily peated whiskey. Lots of smoke, that iodine smell. Although now I've, in my previous Lefroig video, I've never, I've noted that I've never smelled iodine before, but I assume it's kind of like a hospital smell, first aid kit, and that's what I get here. Oh, very strong. But if you can get past the smokiness, which I will in a moment, with a little bit of a trick, there's quite a bit of sweetness behind the smokiness in the Freud. And um, flavor-wise even, uh, there's quite a bit of sweetness there. It can be a, it's a really enjoyable malt. Um, yes, let me see what else I get here. Just a little bit of, of sweetness. The alcohol, so this is bottled at uh, 43%, and I'll need to add water probably to get through all that um, the burning hot uh, nose, but there's a little bit of uh, like a green apple there, just a teensy bit of a like fruity citrusness. I'll have a taste here. I'm getting, no, I, I haven't gotten this before, but I'm getting some uh, interesting woodiness here. Um, kind of a light oakiness, I guess. Um, kind of reminds me of the way pencil shavings smell. Uh, the smokiness is definitely there. Froig is heavy in the mouth. Let me add a little water. 
Let's see what I get. Now, so I've said this before, and I'll say it again. Water uh, cuts through the peat and lets you get to the the other notes in a whiskey. And that's doing that here. So I'm getting a little bit of uh, maybe like a, a light leatheriness. But still, I'm going to add a little bit more water here. Still a little strong on the nose. There we go. Yeah, so the green apple is coming out a little bit more here. I would almost say that it's more of a red apple, a little bit sweeter, less sour. Yeah, there's, I, I'm searching, I, I know there's a licorice note in here, but I'm having trouble getting to it today. Hmm, let's have another taste. Yes, yeah, so I'm getting a little bit of a, I'd say rubber band, um, but it's not a bad rubber band taste. Just kind of a, I don't know, tar, like a road uh, asphalt tar type type flavor. The smoke is still there. The sweetness is coming through a bit more. Very interesting. Okay, so I also, you know, I've I've been trying lately to smell and taste things that people find in whiskey, and so I've got a little glass of, of sherry here. I'm just going to smell this and see if there's anything in here. And so sherry is very raisiny and sweet. I don't know what the maturation of Laphroaig is, what, what kind of cast they use, but I uh, thought it would be interesting to try to compare. Well, I'm not getting sherry, but I'm actually getting a little bit of a pepperiness now. That's interesting. Okay, let's move on to Lagavulin. So Lagavulin is uh, this 16-year-old whiskey, uh, probably about 50% more in cost compared to the Laphroaig. Uh, it's about 43% alcohol. Um, <clears throat> From all the, if you go and read blogs online and and do your research on whiskey, you'll find that Lagavulin is um, it's a whiskey that has has changed people's lives. Nothing much on the back here. Um, a lot of people say Lagavulin is their favorite whiskey. It's just the best whiskey they've had, and it's the one they go to when they just need to relax or when they want to go back to. Um, their favorite, you know. So, um, I'll give it a go. We'll see what we get. Now, I skipped the color on Laphroaig because I've done it so many times, but um, if I remember correctly, let me get my color gauge out here. Um, Laphroaig is like an amber to amber plus one color. I've added water so it's hard to tell now, but I can't remember what it what I what I said before. Not really that big of a deal. It's just color. Um and Lagavulin here is um uh, something like amber plus two. Uh, a little bit darker than the frog. <coughs> but um if um it's the case that they both don't use chill filter or don't use colorant then um the six years additional on the product, or on Lagavulin is is uh, expected to cause that additional 
deepness in color. Anyways, uh, nose. So this is a bit more uh, citrusy and sour than the Laphroaig. There's kind of a, a bright raisininess to it. So it's like if you were to take a raisin and, and add a bunch of uh, lemon rind or something like that. I think I'm getting a little bit of this sherry. Yeah. Once again, now I smelled Lagavulin 16 in my last video and I'm again getting that barbecue sauce smell. It's a distinct um, like ketchup and um, Worcestershire sauce. And the only time I've been able to smell that is when I'm recording a video, which is interesting. I don't know. Maybe the tip to you is to record yourself <laughs> smelling and tasting whiskey and you'll get some additional um, uh, smells and flavors out of it. I don't know. But yeah, now I, I'm having trouble getting past that barbecue sauce. It's sweet, smoky. Interesting. Um, let's see, let's have a taste. So this is, um, <clears throat> it comes off sweeter than Laphroaig initially, for sure. The smokiness is a little bit more balanced than Laphroaig. Laphroaig is a big hit in the mouth, a lot of smoke. Lagavulin is, is a better balance of sweetness, deep, um, raisiny sweetness and smoke. Yeah, the I believe Lagavulin has some sherry maturation, and um, that gives it that additional uh, like brown sugar, deeper sweetness. The raisininess that I'm getting. Let me add a little water and see what else I can get. Yeah, so I'm getting the smokiness is gone, or not gone, but uh, uh, reduced a bit here now that I've added water. And I'm getting a little bit of pepper, spiciness notes. Sweetness is coming through. Actually, about the same. It's nice. These are both really uh, interesting whiskeys to smell. If you like peat and smoke, I highly recommend these two. Let's have a taste. Yeah, so again, a little bit more spice. And the smokiness has, has gone down a bit. The sweetness is still there, but the spice is coming through a bit more on this log of woolen. Um, I think the, the, the big difference between Lafroig and Log of Woolen in this case is that the, the Log of Woolen just smells and tastes a lot more balanced. And that's probably uh, the, the age of the Lagavulin is probably the factor that's that's affecting that. Um, let's compare side by side. So Lafroig, Lagavulin. Yeah, um, the Lagavulin is just coming off with a, a deeper sweetness. It's interesting to smell these two side by side because the smokiness of the two is very similar to me. And so you can uh, pick up a, a lot easier on the underlying smells. So there's, 
some spice actually coming off of the Laphroaig for me. A, a lot more spice in the Laphroaig for me than the Lagavulin. Although the Lagavulin is the one that I noticed the spice in first. There's... I think the, the Laphroaig has got... Um, I can't find a, the... I don't... Leather is the word I would use right now, but I don't think that's quite the right word. But I think there's there's quite a bit... I'm going to use it for now. There's quite a bit more leather in this Laphroaig than the Lagavulin. I'm going to have a taste and we'll finish off. There's a reason Lafroig is one of my favorites. It's good. Okay, like well. Yeah, so Lagavulin, um, like I said, it's coming off a bit more balanced. Lafroig is is a bit more heavy-handed. Um, Finish-wise. I say Lafroig has a little bit more bitterness. That's something I've noticed in Lafroig. It, it, the finish is not as as nice as I would like it to be. But if you notice that about Lafroig and you want something different, try Lafroig quarter, Lafroig, uh, quarter cask. Um, that has a, a much nicer finish, in my opinion. But yeah, um, both really good. Uh, if I had to rank them, I probably would say Lagavulin in 16 over Laphroaig 10. I think most people would. Um, but if you're factoring in price, then it's hard to say, right? Uh, they're both really good um, whiskeys, especially if you like smoke. So, um, right. That was another comparison video. Lagavulin in 16, once again, and Laphroaig 10. I recommend both of them. Very good whiskeys. If you can find them at a good price, go for it. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.